All right, so today I'm gonna to be showing you how to turn this into this. So what you're gonna need is, is a box, um, some pins, marbleizing swirl paint that you can get from a company called Peach Tree, which I'll have a thing uh, down there. All right, so the first thing we want to do to prepare is put our tape on the box, take our pins, or, or number two pencils work really well too, and uh, just poke holes in the box where the holes are. Just want to kind of uh, grab those guys in there. Like so, and your tape fits on there. Next, we're going to take our Julie screwdriver and unscrew each of the screws in the tape. Um, if we have tapes that don't have screws, I haven't done that before, um, but you probably should be able to pop them off with the small um, flathead Julie screwdriver. You'll be able to wedge those guys out of there. Um, but for simplicity's sake, most of the tapes you're going to find will be um, the screwed kind, so it will just be able to uh, unscrew. All right, so now Got the tape, you can see the top shell is kind of coming off. Nice clear shell there. Um, we're gonna to want to very carefully take out these parts. If your tapes do have blue leaders, like the ones I got here from National Audio, um, touching it isn't going to make a difference in the magnetic tape, so you don't have to worry about that. We're also gonna to want to take out um, top plate and the felt. Okay, and this is where a box comes in. So what you're gonna do, Let's take it, put it like this. Do, 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 do. Line that up in the holes, slide it up like that. Turn it over. There you go. So now we just save that for later, and we can do that with multiple tapes while we wait for the shells to dry after we uh, paint them. So we're just gonna put this back together. And I like taking one screw and just putting it in the middle right here. Now your gel is prepped. All right, so we're in the kitchen now, um, and we're gonna need a Tupperware, or a bucket, or anything that uh, we don't particularly care if it gets messy, and is as tall as the tape is wide. So we're gonna be putting it in this way. We wanna make sure we can get it all the way in. This is a little short, but I'm gonna do some bending work on it there. So what we're gonna need to do is we wanna fill this up with cold water. All right. Now we're gonna take our marbleizing paints and uh, drop some drips in there. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna throw some black on uh, in the water there. I'm going to throw some blue on top. And top it all off with some white. You take a stir stick, really anything will work, and uh, just kind of get it all swirled around in there. Any pattern you'd like. I think we're gonna want some more black. So I'm gonna put some more black in it.
So you're going to want a paper towel ready. Got one right here. And they're just going to dip the tape in like this. On the side there. Just want to wipe up the excess on the top of the water. And there we go. Alright, so we're going to let that cure for about uh, 12 to 24 hours. And then we're going to have something that looks kind of like this. A nice little swirly, marbleized tape. So now we got to put the guts back in. Uh, so what first we're going to do is unscrew this guy. Okay, and then the side with the metal posts we're going to want to put on top here. Um, the liners aren't really necessary, and I don't like them in the swirl tapes. They don't, uh, they look kind of strange. I don't know, they don't let it accentuate the like lighter colors, so I'm just going to leave it out because I think that looks better. I'm just going to pop that on like this. I'm going to take a blue leader and put it over the posts like so. And then we can put our uh, wheels back in. And then put our felt and top plate back in. And throw a leader tape over the felt. And put this guy back on top. Should line up. Everything should be good at the top there. You can see with the uh, that the tape is over the felt and under the plastic parts. I got a little bit of a um, jam here. Let's just push that down, and there we go. Now let's just uh, screw in the rest of the screws. And uh, there you have it, you know, your own cool uh, marbleized swirl tape that is ready to dub. Uh, if you guys have any more questions or uh, want to know anything else about how to do cool stuff with tapes, maybe even things like uh, like this or how to like do your own labels uh, for stuff, just let me know. And um, thanks for watching.